Time for a orange game. I don't have space groove, smoge. Come on! Okay, cool. I mean, well, we, we saw him though, but... Get ignite, wait, your ult and decimate him. Boom! Where are you going, bitch? I didn't want to E here because I didn't want him to. I didn't want him to flash it. So I like. I was hoping he'd Q. But if he flash Qs, I'm pretty sure he just lives. Damn, I didn't dodge it. Blues. Doesn't really matter though, getting hit by Q there means I can walk up for the CS now. Like, obviously, it's better to get hit through the wave, but it's not a big deal. <laughs> get juked. He's taking a lot of creep damage here, so I don't mind bonking him. Oh, that, that's gonna hurt. Oh, I shouldn't have flashed. I should just take the one for one. It was super worth it. I don't know why I panic flashed. If he wants to flash auto me, that I, I was like, there's no way he's gonna flash auto me. He'll Q me, right? And then he flash autoed me, and I was like, wow. He's that dumb. Okay. I'm dumber, though, because I flashed. But that's really not worth it, because the wave is in a bad spot for him now. And trading flashes early game means he's super vulnerable. Let me just make sure I ping that he flashed. No flash on this guy? Really big. Because um, in this matchup, he does not want to get ganked pre-6 right now. All good. I probably shouldn't W at all. Take a tower shot. How does that feel? Alright. Making it a bit spicy here, because now... Um, I mean, I don't kill him right now, but... Making it spicy means it's harder for him to push out the wave, right? Well, yeah. If he doesn't use the W when he gets knocked up, he will also die. So there's that. I got pinged that someone is here, so instead of trying to push out this wave, I'm going to show you a neat little trick that you can do. You make sure you pull the wave here, and uh, it is Vi specific, so I don't think Vi will kill me, but you just pull the caster minion up here, uh, and that way you get a freeze. It wasn't done perfectly, but it was uh, good enough, I think. It will still be a uh, freeze towards me, so this is good enough. Let's drop a ward here, because we have two wards stacked anyway. And uh, let's grab some MR here. Um, I don't recommend going hard steel rush ever, uh, and I think in these matchups, Zorn, you just go for this bad boy. I only have this guy has extra AP, but I mean, honestly, in this matchup, I don't need it. I think I'll just leave it at um, no magic mantle, and I'll just build uh, whatever, like Radiant Virtue, I guess. Was that beyond CD? No, he had it up, he just didn't use it. Heavy W maxing in this matchup, right? We're chilling. Alright, we're gonna get our boots really early because we're getting a lot of kills early game. Don't mind exchanging my spells like this because um, that means now is going to be an opportunity to E into him. I E there just to make sure I get the CS. I don't know, this guy is like way too cocky. I don't know why. He's so cocky. Alright, wave's good though. Like, he's trading so much with me. When he doesn't actually win the trades, and additionally he's like not managing the wave at all, so it's just like always in a bad spot for him. <clears throat> I don't have to use my spell here because this way I can get the the assist plus kill. Uh, obviously, it's nice to solo kill him, but instead of uh, trying to steal the kill there or like take the kill, uh, which you can, it is you did solo kill him. I'm gonna make sure Maokai gets some dollars there, like a good homie. Alright, just double checking what the next wave is made of. Uh, but yeah, Grasp is obviously better if you're fist fighting to the death like this, and I only recommend it if the enemy guy, uh, Mordecai, is not playing very well. Uh, obviously, it's better in these games, but again, I didn't know that I was going to play against someone, and even if. Goes to show. Oh, oh, oh. Pain. Anyway, uh, goes to show that you don't even need the. Um, you don't even need Grasp to beat him up if he fucks up. Noise. Clarity lets me push in this wave and basically keep pushing in waves until he recalls, which is really good for me, right? Because as much as he's fucked, I can't kill him 1v1. Like, I need to wait till my next ult. Like, he will only dive if he, like, if he fucks up, right? I can't dive him. And also, Vi won 2v2 mid, so like, they, they're breathing down my neck. Not the other way around. 
I really wanna dive this guy though. Cause like, is this legal? Has no flash. You win, fight him. Oh, you don't win, she has a Sunderer. But it's fine, I'm coming, so you win. Block it, please. My goodness, this guy's pussy. I can kill. Aim for Mord? I'm aware. Nice, Regal. Punished! There is justice in the world! Yeah. That's the idea. That's always the idea, right? Eh, missed my... I get the healing! Wait, you're telling me he face tanks it? Really? No way, right? Thought so. Jesus. I was like... Masturbating him with my R, and then like... My, the power did no damage, and I was like, kinda concerned, because I was like, oh no, am I griefing? And then... He died. I'm just gonna go Sunfire this game, because um... Orin is usually tanky enough. I like, guess the same reason why I'm going Virtue. Like, you go utility items on him, or like items that give him some form of something else, rather than like straight being tankier, because like he's already like impossibly tanky. Oh, I actually got knocked back there. This is gonna hurt. Ouchie! All good though. Oh, fuck. That's not good. Bye. Hmm. I thought I would hit him with my E and then actually I had an angle to kill him there. I don't have, like, infinite amount of armor. Oh, fuck! I fucked up. I went too early. I should have baited him in a little bit more. I should I, I should be able to kill him there. For sure. 100-0. Oh, nice. I read two ones them both. Yay. I really ain't. Oh nice, I'm on my way, but I think he's coming though, but I think this is good. Depends actually. Holy moly, what a stun. What a knock up, clutch as fuck. Ah, I'm gonna make sure she can push this next wave as well. Actually, I'm just gonna push it. I no Thunder Lord Horn would win that. Yum. Infinite stealth champion? We all love infinite stealth champions, don't we? She doesn't ult, so I'm pretty sure she doesn't do anything to me, right? <laughs> right? Yeah, I think that was a little greedy. I'm not gonna lie. k gold hmm could have been good to spend that yeah all good though i'm gonna grind yoink this wave and then run maybe i was a bit too greedy there right, i got my more passive which is nice no Orin, he wasn't moving but more it's all good i'm gonna catch the mid wave here because my gin is right there i don't want to still farm from your ad i'm gonna come here and help out oh that guy's fucked i'm just gonna make sure he can't flush away Ah, oh, I cancelled my E, but I can just face tank here. I really will just do her cool QQQing thing, I hope. Nope, she didn't go for it. That sucks. I feel like she could have killed everyone if she started queuing around here. Went on Draven. Oh, good. Not this just flash and still died, so that's not bad. Cancel once here. Maybe I can follow up with R. I think this guy almost has R, no? Maybe not. Wanted the assist. I have R to bait people into me. I'm just gonna recall after this wave. You want AFK in Fountain? Oh, that's unfortunate. I'm not gonna build against Mord. He'll kill me anyway if he fights me. Yeah, you can go Force of Nature and be harder to kill, but ultimately, I don't really give a shit about Mord. If Mord ults me, then my team is gonna win anyway, so. Rather grab some of the fatty damage. 
Hog Champ. On a Radiant Virtue build? No, you just build normal, bro. It's all good. You don't have to build just for full HP and stuff. You can build a support item if you want, like a Redemption to give more healing to your teammates or like stop applying water if it's like a good item for your teammates. Like you can't, you can opt into those items if you really want to. Mm. Uh, Radiant Virtue, re you reset the CD. So like technically you want to reset the CD for your teammates. <laughs> so you want to upgrade your item after they've used their ult. Technically. It doesn't really matter to be honest. You can also make the argument that you want to upgrade it before they use their ult, because then they get more combat stats during the fight, which is always nice. She threw me, actually. My bad. Can't move! No! Okay, I'm just kind of trolling, pushing there. I'm not gonna lie. I shouldn't be doing that. I think you need to perma roam his Twitch, to be honest. I mean, it's the best way to play him, because people die to him all the time. But I think that champion just farming... Gold? Like, just farming... Farming gold from, like, winning lane is also good. I agree that if you're losing lane as Twitch, you may as well roam, but, like... Just being real with you. Don't have to perma roam. Can roam like once or twice, get pre pre kill, and then just lane. I think that's entirely legal. Oh. Oh, she missed. I don't think I'm gonna go in here. I already has no ult, so I don't think this is a wipe. I'm gonna, just gonna go about buff the wave. Yeah, that looks terrible. Zeri top, not happening. Not because it's bad or anything, I just don't want to play it. Honestly, not bad to go Thornmail this game. Healing, healing, healing. Not bad. Jin top, nope. Is there a top champ you really dislike playing? Fiora? I don't like playing her too much. Budir? No, I'm already playing Urgot. Someone uh, spent 50k points for an Urgot game, so I'll play Urgot. AP Volley? It's not bad if you want to play it. I'll play probably an Urgot game, then I'll play an Alawi game, and then that might be the end of my stream. We'll see. Getting kind of hungry. I'd like to eat something soon. Any champion you hate playing against in top? Ah. Uh... Fiora. Yep. Most of the time. Now that she's weaker, it's like more manageable, but it's just a frustrating champ to play against, in my opinion. Not even about how good or bad she is. Doesn't really matter. Just frustrating. Body blocker Q. I didn't body block her Q. She's still dead though. It's fine. I don't know, I won't hit the E, but I just want to get close to the wave here and push it, crash it in. Do I flash? No, he doesn't. If I flash over this wall, I won't do anything anyway. I'm just gonna run away. Oh, I sidestep. Not gonna change much since I'm walking away anyway. If Mort is still following, I wouldn't have eaten. I'll make my item catch this wave and then I'll probably recall for the strike. Actually, I'll pop my barrier up, DP. It's fine. Barrier is kind of whatever anyway for the fight. I'm just gonna base and TP uh, too early on Helper. Not currently viable? Viable, yeah. I think so. If you like playing him, you definitely can. Alright, support items next, right? I already have two armor items, don't need more. And again, MR, you can buy more MR if you want, but again, it's not gonna change the fact that Mord's still gonna fuck me up in the realm. Like, he's not gonna kill me right now anyway, even if he ults me from 100. Like, he'll never 100 zero me, and if he. If he ults me after I've used all my spells, then I'm kind of happy. Like, it's kind of whatever. Upgrading your item gets you stats, so you always want to upgrade your item first. I just ult there, because I'm going to CC it anyway. I know it looks a bit cringe to miss, but it doesn't really make a difference. You shall not escape, zero CD champion. 
I wonder why more people are not building uh, Shoujin on this champion. I'm pretty sure Shoujin on this champ is disgusting. Maybe I shouldn't say that out loud because I'll convince people that it's broken, but like, I'm pretty sure Shoujin is disgusting on that champion.